In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take the styles from one layer and easily apply it to all the other ones like this. And now you can select this layer, you can make any kind of changes in here. You can change a word to whatever you want. And as you make those changes, it will automatically apply it to all the other layers. And then you can also change the font to any font you want. You can change the color. As you make those changes, again, it applies it to all of these layers as well. You can change the size, letting, tracking, all these styles. The sky is the limit. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so let me show you how to set this up. But before I do, I wanna remind you to watch a video on how to access all of these text properties in your timeline using expressions. So if you haven't seen me talk about that, I highly recommend that you watch it first before you watch this video. And to do that, just go to the top right corner, click on the button there, or if you don't see that button, go to the bottom of this video in the description area. I'm sure you'll find a link to it there. So click on it, watch it, and then come back to this video. So let me show you how to set this up. So just make sure you select all of your text layers and then press Control T to get the type tool, right click, click on reveal source text in timeline. And then now we have the source text property for all selected text layers, which is super handy. So then we're gonna be altering this text layer right here, text two, so text two right here. We're gonna press alt click on the stopwatch for the source text property. And in here, we're gonna create a variable. We're gonna call it text one, and we're gonna tell it to be this source text of text one. So again, it's a made up English that we assign something to it. So from now on, text one really means the source text of text one. Essentially, it means this text right here. All right, so we're gonna keep going and we're gonna reference it. We're gonna say text one, and then we're gonna say period. Instead of saying style, like I have mentioned in the video that I told you to watch. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. We're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use a different one. It's a function called get style at. So we're gonna put our blinker right after the period. We're gonna navigate over to the expression helper. Then we're gonna go to text properties, and we're gonna click on get style at. So when you do that, it's gonna add this get style function. And then in here, the way it works is simple. So we are referencing this text right here, and we're trying to get style, and then at, and in parentheses here, we have two options. We have character index and then time. So let me explain this for a second. So character index, it really means like which character from this text. You wanna you want to get the styles from like, character number one, like letter number one, number two, number three, number four. Basically, that's that's what that means. Now, character index, the index of letters start with zero, not one, but zero. So if you wanna do it based on the first letter, you would say zero. And now if I click away, as you can see, it copied it. So if I change this size, you know, the uh, letting, tracking, you get the idea, even the color. Now it works, everything's working fine. So let me undo all of this. All right, so you get the idea. So that's what the first value is, it's character index. So if you do wanna do it based on the second letter, because right now I can select the first letter, I can change the size of it, it's fine. But if I change the size of the second one, nothing happens because it's referencing the first index. So let me undo this. So if you say index one, so now it's gonna be zero, one. So now I can select the second letter and I can adjust it and you can see it does the same thing. So that's what that means. All right. I'm gonna reference zero. Now, the second option right here has to do with time, like where on the timeline do you wanna do it? For example, right now it's set to time and it, it's basically creating a variable, but you don't need to do that. You can just say time, it's the same thing. And let me give you an example. So let's say we have a keyframe over here and then we go to like a one second mark and then we change the size of it, the letting, tracking, Make sure you pull on it, there you go. And then, so now we have something like this. Boom, and then at one second it changes. So as you can see, because we are referencing this, it's it's saying time, so it's gonna always change as this changes. But sometimes you don't want the second one to, like you don't wanna grab character, like characters based on the time. Maybe you wanna grab it only at like a zero second mark. I want it to only be the, the way it is here, right? So then instead of time, you would say zero and it's gonna reference zero. And so now it doesn't matter what this text does, it will always reference how it was at this zero mark. That's all that is. So first one is character has to do which letter. The second one is 
where on the timeline. So that's how you get the styles from another layer, but we're not done yet because we need to do one more thing. And by the way, before we do that, I'm gonna take my time indicator to the very beginning. I'm gonna highlight all of these keyframes and get rid of it. So we're back to here. So we do have a text layer. We are copying the styles from here of that text layer so I can change the, the size, all that stuff, so it's working. But here's what I wanna do next because right now if I change the text of this layer, if I change anything, like that, you can see that it's not copying the text to this. It's only copying the styles. So how do I set it up to where it copies the style, which it is right now, but it also copies the text. So how do we set this up? Well, it's very easy. Let me do this. Let me undo this. Now we're gonna go back to our expression in here. And to keep going, we're gonna say period. And this time we're gonna navigate to the expression helper. We're gonna go to text, properties, then properties again. And in here we're gonna get this set text. So when you click on this set text, then it's going to add this set text. And in here, we're going to say set text as text one. So we can type text one. So now when I click away, watch this, it's going to go from two to one. So boom, now it's copying the text as well. So I can change this all day long and, and it's going to adjust it as well. All right, so let me undo this and now we are done. So that's how we copy the text and the styles together. Then I would just copy this source text Control C and then select this, Control V and paste it. And so now all of them are doing the same thing. So I can adjust the size, the letting, tracking, and all of these styles. I can also adjust the color. So they are working quite well. And I can even type stuff in here and it will automatically adjust. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching it. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you wanna be a part of our free mentoring group, I highly recommend that you do. It's an amazing group. You can go to ukramedia.com slash community. And if you wanna support what we do here, you can purchase our tools and courses at ukramedia.com. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.